In this video, I'll be showing how to AFK auto farm animal husbandry XP in Roblox Islands, and pigs are going to be added this Friday, so you're probably going to need to have a pretty high level to unlock everything pig related. So make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more islands videos and like the video. This is going to be slightly different if you only have one type of animal. So if you only have cows, take out wheat and buckets. Then if you only have sheep, then take out potatoes and shears. But you're going to need to choose a place in your inventory. So you see how I have three and four as wheat and bucket? You're going to always have to have it like that. So I recommend like right after your tools. Or just make sure you have two slots in your inventory that every time you want to AFK auto farm animal husbandry XP, that's open. But if you have both types of animals, then take out wheat, buckets, potatoes, and shears. If you're watching this video after pigs were added, you can probably do the same thing. Just take out whatever items you need for the pig. And then hopefully that will work because we don't know how pigs will work yet. But I'm just assuming you're probably going to have two items that you can use on pigs. So what you want to do is have them all in an enclosed area, make sure it's kind of big, like I suggest at least 8 or 9 blocks tall, and then at least 8 or 9 blocks wide so they have a decent amount of area, or else they might spawn outside of it. If your island is small, you don't really need to do this though, you just don't want them wandering around like your entire island, because if they get far away, this is going to take longer to do. Now you need to trap them in what I'm going to call the cow jail. So I suggest to make the cow jail 5 by 3 blocks, then 4 blocks tall. And you can build it before, just leave one entrance open. You can make it smaller if you want, but most of the time when you rejoin, they're going to spawn back inside of this cow jail. So I think that this is probably the most efficient way. But you just want to make it one block wide like this. And sometimes the cows won't pay for their crimes of scamming your fish so they won't go in, but if that happens, just rejoin, and then it'll probably work, because sometimes they just, like, walk around the entire thing and don't know how to walk inside, and then once you do that, take out the potatoes. No, cows, don't try to run away. They're trying to escape. No, bad. Okay, sometimes it takes a minute or two. Okay, quick. Oh, they're, I did it. Yeah, I trapped them in here, and then just like, if you accidentally build on the outside or you have to to trap them in, then just destroy that. Now you're gonna need a macro, so a quick disclaimer, one of the devs said a while ago on Discord that macros and auto-clickers are allowed in Roblox Islands. Not sure if I have to make that disclaimer, but I just want to be safe just in case. So, get your macro, and the best one, or well, the one that's like pretty popular is called Tiny Task. You can find it by looking it up on Google. But once you have that open, then click prefs, which is all the way to the right, and click continuous playback so it like loops. Then once you start recording, well I think that's how the other ones work too. But just make sure that it's looped and it's gonna automatically like restart the macro. But you wanna start recording the macro. And then once you have it recording, make sure you're sideways like this, looking down all the way, and make sure you're like straight up against the other stuff. Now you may have noticed that I don't have my animation that makes me automatically turn and move and things like that. And you want to go over to your avatar page under animations and unequip everything. Because sometimes whenever you're walking, if you have an animation equipped, then it's going to do that animation. It's going to make it angry. And sometimes you'll go inside of the glass block or you'll just fall down. Just make sure you don't have any animations equipped, but you want to start recording the macro. So like whatever the recording button is for your macro, like for tiny task, it's control shift alt r. So once you start recording, take out the wheat, then walk sideways while spamming F, walk back while spamming F, take out the bucket, walk sideways while spamming F, then do the same thing with the potato, and then do the same thing with shears. And so you're basically just walking sideways, and after you do that with the shears, stop recording the macro. It's gonna repeat the four actions of feeding the cows the wheat, milking the cows, feeding the sheep the potatoes, and shearing the sheep for their wool. So you won't really need to do anything. It's gonna be exactly as fast as it would be if you were actually there feeding cows and doing all the other stuff. Now, if you only have one type of animal, so if you only have cows, then you're only going to need to record taking out the wheat, spamming F, then taking out the bucket, then spamming F, and then you can stop recording the macro. And then if you only have sheep, then just do potatoes, spam F, shears, spam F, 
But once they add pigs, then you're gonna have to do this, this, and then whatever the pig stuff is. But then if you don't have cows, or just do whatever your animals need to be done. This might be a little more confusing, like if pigs are completely different, and you have to put them in like some sort of machine or something. I have no idea what's gonna happen with pigs, but we're gonna see. And this is gonna be good to do if you need to get XP, because pigs on Friday. Well, if you go over here, then the industrial thing for sheep is level 47. So pigs are probably gonna be around here, then some pig things are gonna be around here, then the industrial thing for pigs is probably gonna be like level 65 or something, I don't know. But it takes a long time to get animal husbandry XP, especially if you have to do it yourself, so this macro is kinda just good to farm with. Here are some other important things to remember. You're gonna need a lot of wheat, like, I'd say he uses 4,000 within a few hours. I didn't really calculate exactly, but it uses so much wheat, like, the cows are basically wheat deletion machines. They- the wheat is just gone so fast, so make sure you have a lot of wheat, and you can do that. Wait, let me just reset, and, uh, I have this wheat farm right here, so all you need to make it is a whole bunch of input-output chests, and if you don't have them, then you can buy them. You don't need to be at level 62 to use them. You just need to be that level to craft them. But you can use them at any level. And if you don't have any and you don't want to buy any, then you can use industrial... Well, one industrial chest instead. And it's not going to be nearly as efficient. But you just have all of the wheat totems here. And then you have wheat around them. Then you have a long conveyor so the totems can drop them on it. And this isn't really the most efficient wheat farm, but it is really good, because like if you're doing other stuff, this is just going to automatically farm wheat for you. And then if you have sheep, then do the exact same thing, but this time you're going to need a randomizer. And then on the this part, put cold totems by it, then the randomizer, then the washer right in front of the randomizer, because then the coal is going to go through the randomizer to the washer. But then it's gonna go through the randomizer to this one too. And then have them both leading to a whole bunch of input output chests. And this is gonna be really good for farming wheat and potatoes. Then you're gonna need buckets, which you need iron for. But you can basically do the exact same thing as this, where you just have a whole bunch of iron totems, then coal totems at this part, then a randomizer. Or probably less iron totems though. Like maybe four or six iron totems, then the randomizer, then the washing stations. Or, no, 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 not the washing station, smelters, because <laughs> there's no oily iron. But yeah, then they just lead to a whole bunch of input-output chests, and that's going to be good. I'll probably do a video on iron auto farm later, but I'm not really going to go into too much depth about those auto farms. This is just how to automatically farm animal husbandry XP, not how to auto farm crops and iron. If you had a lot of stuff in this update, even if you farmed most of it yourself, then you would lose it. So it's kind of hard to get that stuff back because like nine months of farming things and then it's just gone like for example coal, iron, and some other things. So I'll do some more auto farm videos and hopefully you guys can get a lot of stuff. But make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more islands videos, like the video, join my discord server linked in the description, follow my twitter at Telanthric, use star code Telanthric to support my channel. And linked in the description is a guide that has all my helpful islands videos on it called Roblox Islands Guide, so check that out if you need help with anything because it's probably there. But I'll see you all in the next video.